Hello, Shaw TV. This is David Chapman. We are at Quidditch Fall Fest in Red Deer, Alberta, for a game of Quidditch. Quidditch is the sport most well known from Harry Potter, but now it is played by everybody. So, how Quidditch is going to work? We are going to have our players starting on the ground, on their knees, broomstick on the ground. The referee will call brooms up. They will go for the various balls. Brooms up is called. Players head to the center. Chase it. Chris Radievsky grabs the quaffle right off the gun. Score 10 points for Alberta North. Ball goes to the keeper on Alberta South in the red. He starts pulling forward, gets beat at the bend. We've got a little bit of bludger action happening in Alberta North zone. Meanwhile, another score for Alberta North, taking the score to 20 to zero. On a score, the quaffle, which is the white ball, goes to the keeper wearing the green headband. He is protected, he cannot have any action taken on him until he crosses that line right there. Joel Martins, the keeper right now for Alberta South in the red. Passes that off, another beat. Alberta South pushing forward. They can score from behind the hoops. Quaffle goes flying, a little bit, bit of mixed play there. Dumps the Quaffle back. Shot blocked by Chris Radievsky. Alberta North keeper with the ball. That's Bryant Mongoose. David Mongoose, I'm sorry. Awful back, shot through, misses. Alberta South picks up the ball, starts moving forward, crosses across the field. Back to the Alberta South keeper. Alberta North backs off, resets on their own end, give or take. Alberta South is going to move forward, trying to close up a little bit of that gap. Pushing forward, trying to steal the quaffle away from the keeper. He is past the keeper line. You can do that. Big pass forward. Quaffle still in play. That bludger was deflected. No goal, though. Alberta North back with the ball. Everything's all right. Just bounced off. Bomb it forward. Gets picked up by the hoops. Pass back forward. Chris Radievsky again. Goal, Alberta North. See a little bit of a blood meter change there coming in from the side. Substitutions basically happen on the fly in Quidditch. That Alberta North chaser off of him. Drops it back. There's the Elmore's beat. Beat. So when you are hit with a bludger, you must drop whatever ball you are having, dismount your broomstick, and return to your hoops. Tag in the hoops. You may then remount your broomstick and continue back into play. So right there, you see, see a prime example of that. Alberta North, Chaser gets beat, heads back to Hoops. Ricky Boyce trying, trying to work in. Stoppage of play. His head referee, Lauren Pizzella, comes in. Yellow card, number 10, block, wrap from behind. So you see Ricky Boyce there ha having gone around behind the Alberta South player, you cannot grab from behind. He is given a yellow card. He will spend one minute in the penalty area. Um, that penalty will be negated should a goal be scored. Thank 
Players jumping ahead a little bit, picking up their broomsticks before ordered to do so. Play is live again. Pass off. Oh, beat. Big dive for the ball. He gets beat. Very lucky to not get a penalty there for tossing the ball after a beat. You, can, you cannot do that. Waffle goes out of the hard boundary, causing a turnover to Black, which is, of course, Alberta North. Slowly moving that path. Quaffle ahead. Chaser Indiana Nichols passes it back to the keeper. David Mongoo's pulling ahead. Passes it back across. Working his way forward slowly but surely. Back it through. Indiana Nichols again. That goal was good. They weren't quite sure. Not a good angle. There's a lot of people there. Goal is being called good. <laughs> Keeper ball. So, old nice tight position, trying to guard that quaffle. Passes it across. Going back to avoid a beat. A little fake. Through. Passes it across. Quaffle gets a kick ahead. Hashik, the keeper for, for Alberta South right now. Passes that across. Back. Looks like he was going to charge through. Not going to beat Indiana Nickel that way. Two very strong players there. Also got sent out. Turnover. Back to Alberta South. Nichols very aggressive there. Drops the quaffle back. Nice through, shot. No good. Play continues. Slowing things down as there's a couple substitutions. Team North pulling ahead. Pass across just a little long. As Heidi Mills get, gets uh, beat from behind, forcing that turnover. Michael Wallace now with the ball. Drops it back again. Joel Martins pushing forward, cr pass across. Big takedown. David Mongoose passes it off. Shot through, stoppage of play. Referees are gonna consult on that last set of plays. When it looks to have happened, looks like that there was a beat that happened in there. David Mongoose doing a great job staying on his broom and maintaining that ball carry. Um, there we go. So yes, David Mongoose did get beat before passing that ball off to Chris Radievsky uh, and the goal happening. So the goal is not going to go through. There has been a timeout called. So we're going to have a one minute timeout. Score sits 40 for, for Team North. Nothing for Team South at this point. 
just a little primer on Quidditch while we have this timeout. You see there a number of players with different colored headbands. The green headbands are your keepers. They are your goaltenders. The white headbands are your chasers. They are going to be passing, shooting, and scoring with that, that quaffle, the white ball that you see out there. The black headbands are your beaters. They play with the bludgers. Those are the orange and red balls. If you tag someone with a bludger, as I mentioned earlier, you must dismount, drop any balls you have immediately, return to your hoops, and tag back in. Fifteen seconds left in the timeout. Players start to move back to their broomsticks. That is one of the most unique aspects of Quidditch. In, in addition to having to... Uh, to pass all those balls, you basically only have one hand, as you do need to maintain, maintain that broomstick between your legs at all times. You are certainly welcome to use both hands, but if you drop your broomstick, you have to do just as if you were hit by a bludger, return to hoops, and tag back in. Players have remounted. Referees are just regaining their position. Just, just some discussion on who has possession of the quaffle as a result of this. If it had been a goal, slight mix up with, with that shot. There we go. Passed back to keeper Joel Martins. On my whistle. <coughs> Players asked to remount their brooms. Game will start on the whistle. And there we go. Pushing forward. Radievsky trying to get that quaffle. He gets beat from behind. Has to go back to hoops. So pushing forward. Ahmad Hassan coming through. Ju tries to deflect the bludger with the quaffle. Does not do so. He has to head back. Pushing in. There's that goal. Chris Radievsky once again. Easily one of the top players on Alberta North. Member of... Quidditch Canada's national team and just returned from a fourth place finish at the World Cup in Germany. South moving forward slowly. Passes off to Ashley Gilmore. Back to Joel Martin. Long bomb ahead. Michael Wallace with the shot. Doesn't quite pick it up. Brian Cooper picks up the ball, moving forward. He's a big man, hard to take down. Takes a shot, but just gets disrupted enough to not make the shot. We're south now in possession. Joe Martins pushes through. There we go. Alberta South with their first goal of the match. Keeper retrieves the quaffle, goes back to his keeper zone to start the. Forward. Long drive. Passes it to the back of the hoops. South manages to fend off that advance. Ricky Boy's try trying to get in the keeper's face. Burns past, pushes forward, crushes the opposition in front of him. Keeper, you want the ball? Yes. Keeper out! North now moving forward again. Okay, 
pass to the back. Indiana Nichols just over his hands. Beat, but not before he gets that ball off. Scuffle for the ball. Manages to pop it out. Passes it back. And we have a keeper ball. Beaters passing the, qual the uh, bludgers around for quick substitution. Pass across, just over the head. Picked back up by Alberta North. Austin around with ease. We're just doing their best to control these big players on North. Slowly but surely. First right, yeah, she's blocking that, that pass. Beat, turnover. Pushing forward, Croc. Pass across, and another goal for Alberta North. Alberta North still in the lead here. Fast, cross a path, miss in the air as Joel Martin's just missing it. Recovered by Indiana Nichols. Christian Adevsky doing a great job. If you hit, try and hit him low, he will just jump that bludger. North still in possession. Pass across. Passes back. Score. 70-20 in favor of North in the black. Long bomb across. Covered by South still. Shot from the back did not go through. We do have a stoppage in play. Just a safety check, making sure one of the players is in fact safe and uninjured. Players now remounting. Seventy twenty scores sitting there for North. Big drive forward, crashes through several South players. For another goal for North, 80 20. Keep it up. Colin Crow pushing forward. Throwing several of the Alberta North players. Crosses the ball. Medicine pushing forward. Behind the hoops. Pass across, shot, no goal. Recovered by David Mongoose. Incredible skillers being able to dive at that ball and keep that broomstick. Jenny Zhang pushing forward. Forcing the pass across. Stoppage of play. Not entirely sure what happened there. Uh, yeah. 
referees are conferring. We are getting close to the 17 minute mark here. Here, at 17 minutes, the snitch runner will enter into play. Snitch runner will come out wearing yellow. They have a ball in a sock velcroed to the back of their shorts. That is the snitch. Seekers who will be wearing yellow headbands will be released a minute after this. the snitch. Their job will be to catch that ball off of the back of the snitch cleanly. And that will give them 30 points and end the game. Still got some referees conferring here. Just checking where referee's going. Where are you? Apparently need a substitution on the field. Game will restart with the ball on the ground. Waffle right in between a whole whack of players. Play resumes. Indiana Nichols in quickly recovers the ball, passes it back, pass forward. Deflection there by Ricky Boyce. Someone goes off broomstick. I saw it go flying. No goal, hits the end of, edge of the hoop. Good defensive play there by Alberta South. Managed to defend a very hard drive there on that Northern Alberta team. And Nichols getting in the keeper's face, forcing that pass across. Didn't see the pass coming back though. Still manages to recover it though. Drive forward. Shot goes low. Ball goes out the hard boundary on the back end. Being recovered by the black keeper for Alberta North. Pass it across to Ricky Boyce. Southern Alberta getting beat. Has to take the long run back. Advantage there being, of course, Alberta North has the ball, so now he's back there, there to defend. Very fast passing game from Alberta North. Beats there, allowing Alberta South to regain Quaffle possession. You now see Alan Shan, our snitch runner for the game. There you see that sn snitch being adjusted on his shorts. Colin Crow with a shot. Doesn't quite make the shot though. Brian Cooper. With the ball now for Alberta North. Actually, Gilmore tries to get in there. Backs off before she gets beat. Sometimes just the threat of that beat is enough to, to keep you away. Shot on the low hoop. Goes extra low. Hits the bottom of the hoop. Does not go in. Colin Crow now with the with the Quaffle. Seekers have been released. You can see that in the lower right corner. And those yellow headbands indicate that they are seeking. Their only job is to catch that snitch. We're gonna be keeping snitch action in that lower right-hand corner as game continues. 
pile up fight for the ball. All the Alberta North players getting beat by, by the Southern uh, Alberta team. Push through. Goal. 80-30 the net. The score now still in favor of Alberta North. There we have Alan Shanner. Our snitch working his way forward. He is able to defend himself any way he needs to to keep those seekers from from catching up that snitch on his shorts. Red ball being called once again. Shot goes long. Causing that turnover. See some of those Southern Alberta players heading over to substitute. This play slows down. Pass forward. Bomb across. Caught easily. Shot doesn't quite make it. Picked up. Southern Alberta still in possession. Pass just off his mark. And another beat happens. Long goal for Southern Alberta. Foreground there, you see, see some seeker beating happening. Fast drive forward from Alberta North. Pass across and back. Quick shot through the back of the hoops. Another 10 points on the board for Alberta North. Alberta North so far for doing an excellent job keeping the lead here. And extending it as another goal there for Alberta North. Once again, Southern Alberta keeping that fairly tight formation as they cross the field. Pass it across. Recovery there for by Northern Alberta. Cross, beat before it connects. Recovery by, by Southern Alberta. Keep it Keep doing an amazing job just beating everything in sight that there on Southern Alberta. Defending the snitch. Pass across. Goes wild. Covered by, by South. Stoppage of play. At this point in the game, the hard part about, it, about a stoppage in play, these seekers also have to drop their brooms and stop moving, which lets that snitch jog away. Making it that much harder for them to uh, to catch. Seekers are able to be beaten just like any other player. They do substitute like any other player, but it is an exhausting position. One of the most challenging. Lauren, red, pass after beat. Time and box. All right, so there we have a yellow card. Yeah, time and box. Going to Southern Alberta. Yeah, 
Kayla Ross being sent to the penalty area uh, for passing after a beat. So she was hit with a bludger, then released the quaffle. Um, you cannot do that, as I've said before. When you are hit with a bludger, you need to simply drop it. You cannot throw it, you cannot spike it, you cannot pass it, you cannot shoot it. You cease to exist. You will drop the ball, you return to hoops. If you don't, this happens, and you end up with a yellow card. Referee's just con consulting, not sure what's going on there. Just double checking. So, when, in the case of a of a pass like that, where the beat happens the before whistle, the pass, it is a turnover, and the quaffle gets reset to the nearest player of the opposing team. So, black. black ball, and they capitalize with a very quick goal. Keep so in Alberta, pushing forward. Kayla Ross out of the penalty box. She was uh, released as of that goal. The remainder of her time being negated. Some of a shot and goal for Southern Alberta. Score is 120 to 60. 120-260, the roll. score. Drive forward, David Mongoose. Shot Six, and goal. Score is 130 to 50. Keep it off. This is a dangerous place for Alberta South to be. Keeper. They are farther than, than 30 <laughs> points, so even if they are t were to uh, catch the snitch, they will end up losing based on points. So Alberta South is going to be trying to defend as much as possible while trying to, to catch up the score. You can see that they're on the left-hand side. Madison holding off Ricky Boyce, defending the snitch. Meanwhile, shot from Southern Alberta. Goal on that top hoop. Covers the ball, backs off, passes it across. Heidi <laughs> Heidi Mills gets stolen. Drive forward, passes it across. Beat Northern Alberta recovery. Deflection of the bludger, shot, and we have yet another goal for Alberta North. You can see in the lo lower screen there, Snitch defending themselves well against the Alberta North Seeker. Keeping them to the ground, trying to pull their broomstick out. Finally successful, he has to return to hoops. Ashlick there, the keeper for, for Alberta South has been doing a great job. Moving forward, giving some directions there. Dive forward, th right through a massive north, passes it back and across, keeping those north players moving. Unfortunately, everyone was closed, so did have to back off. Alex. 
Taylor Ross doing a great job defend, defending that qualifier, keeping it out of the hands of, of Alberta North. Ball gets stripped and tackle made. Has a cross shot. No goal. Goes just a little bit low. Alberta North recovers. Brian Cooper pushing forward. Passes across, deflection. Hoop gets knocked down. Completely legal. Play will continue. Alberta South driving forward. Colin Crow with the shot. Just misses. Alberta South just cannot seem to catch a break today. Slowly moving forward. They're not in any rush at this point. Was commanding lead. Keep, keep trying to extend that. But they don't need to push, take any unnecessary chances. They are certainly going to push forward. Get another goal there. Keep her home. Keep her, please. Keep her in the ball. South with possession. Bit of an off pass there, but st still maintaining that possession. Drive forward. Goal for Alberta South. Forward again. Quick beat on the Alberta South seeker. Still with the quaffle, shot goes wide. Race for the quaffle. Heidi Mills, Kayla Ross dive, both dive for it. Heidi Mills gets beat though. She's gonna have to head back to hoops. Chris Radiowski tries to, to get it, doesn't quite make it. Indiana Nickel. Seeker goes in. There you see it. Indiana Nichols with that, that snitch catch. Referees are going to have to confirm, make sure that this, the catch was in fact good. That's probably going to be the end of the game, however. You can see some congratulations happening there between the Seekers and, and the snitch. A little, little bit of Quidditch love happening there. No one likes likes to be the wrong end of that snitch catch. But at the same time, you're always happy when, when it happens because it's always a great catch. Indiana Nichols, a very strong player. Referees are conferring. There we go, 180-270, the final score. Snitch catch is good. Northern Alberta takes the first Quidditch Fall Fest North versus South game in Red Deer, Alberta. Players all line up. Where normally you would see handshakes. This is Quidditch. We are more fun. You get hugs all around. This has been a great game to watch. If you are interested in Quidditch, you can go to Quidditch Canada. Take a look, find a team in your area. In Alberta, we do have teams in Calgary, in Red Deer, in Edmonton. If you are in a smaller town, you don't want to go that far, start your own. Hey guys, I'm down here with Indiana, who is the seeker for Team North. So how does it feel to be able to catch the snitch? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know. We're all we all really we all work hard out here, and uh, I don't know. It's just I'm the one that ends the game, but everyone else uh, is working just as hard as harder than I am. So, do you guys normally have a strategy for the game? 
Uh, yeah, so we're a faster team. We're not, we're not the, the biggest physical team, so we try to make a whole lot of space in the field. Um, and that's, that's kind of how we, how we operate. How long have you personally been playing for, with uh, Quidditch? Uh, I've been playing for about a year, year and a half. Um, but before that, I played rugby, I played soccer, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not new to sports. I'm now joined with Kayla, who is a beater for Team South. So what kind of qualities or aspects do you have to have to be on a Quidditch team? Uh, I'd say just keeping an open mind and being able to have fun. We really welcome anyone who is interested in playing and just wants to have a good time. So why do you guys devote yourself to Quidditch? Um, I mean, I just when I first started, I just really wanted to have fun, but it, it's the community that keeps me around. I, I love playing the sport, but I also love playing a sport with people that I'm friends with, that I've been friends with for a long time now and have always got my back. I'm now joined with Justin, who is a chaser on Team North. So how did it feel to win the game, the game today? Uh, pretty good. We weren't sure what we were in for because uh, this Team South is uh, a, cl a collection of players from all over. So we haven't actually played them yet. So we actually weren't sure what we were going to face. And we're glad we won. It was a hard game. Yes. Um, how many people can be on one Quidditch team? Uh, you can have a roster of 21. Uh, on the pitch are six players, three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and then the seeker comes out uh, to catch the snitch. Um, how can people like me become part of uh, Quidditch? I uh, usually just Google. Uh, there's a Quidditch Canada website. Uh, they have little pins on a map of all the teams around Canada wide. Uh, if you're from US, same thing. They have a website and you can just contact your local representative and they'll get you in there. They'll figure it out. Thank you so much. For Quidditch Fall Fest, I'm Cassie Simone.